and a dozen others in this case. Top Republicans today proposed abolishing the state's information technology office. That dramatic move comes after the botched rollout of the new computer vehicle registration system called MinLars. WCCO's Pat Kessler is at the Capitol for us tonight. He joins us now. Hi, Pat. Hi, Amelia. Yeah, drivers know all about this. Minnesota's MinLars system for new motor vehicle registration systems has so many glitches that it can take months sometimes for a simple transaction. And that is why lawmakers here are calling for an end to the Minnesota IT department called Minute. The troubled rollout began last July when the new MinLars computer system couldn't handle some transactions as simple as license tabs. Eight months later, Lawmakers have had enough. And we are here because Minute is broken. And it became abundantly clear with, with the MinLars debacle. Fed up, Senate Republicans plan to abolish Minute as a full fledged State Department and create a much smaller division of information technology. I take a no nonsense approach to things. Now, a former Brigadier General, Johanna Clayton, is leading Minute, trying to clean up the mess. In a statement, she called the Republican bill a knee-jerk reaction and said, we have a responsibility to look beyond scoring short-term political points. I can tell when I'm being gamed. The governor is accusing Republicans of slow-walking a request for an emergency infusion of $10 million for a MinLars patch. I'll take the blame for the problem, but you're going to share the responsibility for the lack of uh, improvements. The powerful chairman of the Transportation Committee says he's skeptical Minnesota's IT department can handle the fix. Based on past performance, I have serious doubts. Because based on past performance, they haven't done all that great of a job. Well, instead of administering services like MinLars, the Min IT department would, if it becomes a division and they actually shrink it, would handle things like every other IT department, web pages and emails and computer data, things like that. Now, they're telling us that this may or may not happen, but it's a very serious, even severe threat to Minute. And Pat, we heard that if MinLars doesn't get the emergency money, it may have to lay off many computer experts. Is that happening? You know, that is something that is a big warning here. They're meeting right now at the Capitol about all of this. Minute tells us that they are sending out layoff notices to many of their highly specialized technical workers, and that, in fact, one of the top workers may have already left. So they have to ramp this down, and it takes 30 days if they don't have the money. And then it's going to take a long time to ramp it back up. And that's going to be even more problems for MinLars in a delay and how long it will take to fix. So it's a mess. It, it certainly is. All right. Thank you, Pat. You bet.